Hi Wanderers, it's Topher. Hey, so I've been spending the week on the Norwegian Bliss in a solo studio cabin, so I'm here to show you what it's all about. All right, so first thing that you need to know when traveling in a solo cabin is, let me turn my camera around real quick, your key card accesses the studio area. You'll need that to actually enter the area where you'll find different rooms as well as the studio lounge. Let's go take a look at the lounge really quick. This is available to all solo traveling guests, whether you're in a studio or whether you've booked an interior ocean view or balcony. Best selling feature is espresso 24 7. There will be lots of social meetings and different events, or you can just come and hang up here, play a game, just sit and read a book, whatever you'd like to do. But again, only accessible to solo travelers. Again, whether you're in a studio, or whether you've booked an interior ocean view or balcony at a solo guest rate, you have access to the studio lounge. Let's take a look at what a studio cabin, so studio cabin looks like. When I first walked into my cabin, I thought there's no way I'm making it, just to let you know. <laughs> I thought there's no way I'm going to be able to exist in this cabin for a week. You'll see what I mean. Almost there. All right, so this is Studio 10523. Go in again, key card accesses the lights. And here is your cabin. This is what it looks like. your bathroom in here. I will say it is small, but it is extremely functional and it's extremely adequate. Um, I've talked to other uh, solo cruisers who have been staying in the same cabins that I have been and they have all said the exact same thing. It's adequate. So yeah, not a lot of bells and whistles, obviously. You have a nice shower. And of course, from the shower, you can see your bed. Um, Lots of different storage, lots of outlets, although some of them are very weirdly placed. So I don't know why they would want to put those in there. I suppose you can just move your towels. But there's lots of cabinet space, the hair dryer in there for you. Um, there's cabinet space down under here on both sides. You've got a nice um, little vanity area with a very, again, adequate and functional sink. You do have your TV. You've got actual lighting underneath there. I will say one thing about these cabins is there's multiple, multiple lighting options. Right now I have kind of the backlit that's going on where you can see uh, it's just kind of backlit behind all of the the cabinetry. I actually like it. Let me turn off the shower light. Uh, but I actually kind of like it. It's kind of nice. Um, but you actually have another whole lighting option here that just really lights up the room. Yeah, so you've got the extra lighting, so if you like it brighter, um, you can have that as well. And then over here, this is kind of cool. So this is actually a screen that's right next to your bed that actually has, it's a, it's a live camera view from outside. So that you can actually see what's going on uh, outside the ship. So when you're pulling into port, you might see port out there. Today, obviously, we're at sea, so all you're seeing is that. Um, this actually also can be closed with a shade. And with that closed, the room actually does become very, very dark. Let me show you how dark. Wrong one. Flip these guys off too. There's your cabin. So if you like your rooms dark, this is definitely a room for you. And when you pull the screen back up, that will actually start back up and it will bring that uh, that view for you right back. 
So cool little option. Again, you know, is it the biggest of rooms? No. Is it adequate for one person? You bet. You've got uh, two different closets. So you've got a closet here. About 12 hangers in total. Got a couple of shelves down at the bottom. More than enough space for overpackers like me. Um, and then, uh, yeah, another one over here. And then in this closet, you get, again, more hanging space. And then you've got uh, your safe and then uh, another shelf there on the bottom. And then, of course, plenty of under storage bed as well um, for your suitcases, shoes, whatever else you'd like to do. But there's a look at a solo studio cabin on the Norwegian Bliss. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you uh, like uh, this video, please make sure that you like, subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell notification to get uh, notified when we have new content coming out. I'll have a, a full ship tour of the Norwegian Bliss coming up soon, so make sure to click on that icon. All right, so until next time, joyful wandering.